Well, congratulations on, on, on the podium, please. Thank you. How, thank does you. That, uh, how does that feel? It was very good, actually. It was better than I was hoping. I was thinking if I could come away with maybe a top 10, maybe a good top 5 as well, that'd be really good. So, yeah, to get on the podium is better than I expected, really. So, I, yeah, really pleased with it. I knew the sort of course would suit me, but there's so many good, strong riders, you know, yeah. so many to try and beat. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Well, riding for the team that's actually organising the event, that's always a great result. It's always great. You always want to do well at your home race. You obviously want to do well at every race, but definitely when it's your home race, it just, and definitely when you've done well, it just makes it a little bit more special, you know. Definitely since we put it on and yeah, I'm very thankful for the organisers and Giles for putting it on. And what's it like being in such a, because the junior ranks are now so strong. I mean, you look at, look at through the riders in that break, um, international riders. Um, do you know actually who to look for? Yeah, they, you got, yeah, I, know, so. I, know, I know the uh, people to watch for, but there's so many to watch for, you can't like follow. Like when you're in youth, you can, you know the strong riders and you know like you can't let this person go. So you can jump on all the good riders, but nowadays there's so many good riders because this kind of like racing suits more and more types of riders really. And there's so many good riders, especially from uh, like the UK. It's you can't watch it, you know who to watch, but it's not like you can do much about it really. You just try and want to limit the amount of good riders that you know, like to get away really. And did you get in the in the break? Because Seb was saying, and I was just talking to Josh, he was in in the, in the chase group with Seb. And that was the hardest part of their race. Yes. Did you make that initial nine? Well, there was maybe was it nine that was in the main it was thing. Nine, yeah. So there was so that made it six went away. Yeah. I wasn't there, but very quickly maybe a k later after they got away, they probably got like 15 seconds on us. And one guy attacked. I can't remember who it was now. Then Finn followed. Finn Italian followed, and then I then followed Finn, and then us three bridged across. But because it was such a small gap, we probably did it in the space of 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Yeah. So we managed, even though we weren't the initial part, we were, we got across really quickly and really early on. We didn't have to chase obviously as hard as like Seb's group. And, and these breakaways, are they are they an easy way to get through a race rather than being in the bunch and having to deal with all the attacking? I, th I think it's a different dynamic, you know, because mm. obviously if you're in a bunch, you can just sit in and not hit the front. But in the same yeah. sense, you're moving around the group, so it's a lot more like erratic in a group. Like you're almost doing no what, then you're going really hard, then you're doing nothing, and then you're going really hard. Being a breakaway, yeah, you're almost like you hit the front, you do a little bit more watts, but then when you're in the wheels, you're not quite getting as much draft as if you were just sat in the group. So, yeah, it's more of a slightly easier effort, but it just goes on for like the three hours or whatever the race was. So, and what do you got coming up? Um, so, I've got like a bit of training now coming up, so I've got GB camp this next week after Manchester. So, yeah, we've got five days there. So that should be pretty good. Do you and then I do track, yeah. That's that's my other discipline. I don't do I don't do like cyclocross and stuff, so well, I, I don't do know track. if you know, but I worked for GB for ten years, so I know. Oh did track. you? Oh, I didn't know that, yeah. yeah it's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. It's a good organisation really, really, really helps with every sense. So, so what are your events on the track? Um it, this is just training, so right. we just do a bit of everything really. We do quite a lot of team pursuit, just really good for like team dynamics, learning to when to squeeze on, when not. Yeah. and like that kind of stuff so that's a really great way and then we do a bit of bunch stuff bit of madison so i did madison yesterday we were helping out the podium women so obviously they're yeah. getting ready for olympics so we tried to make the numbers up so a few of us went yesterday so that was pretty good so yeah that's my next thing then it'll be national champs i think yeah. national champs and then a few weeks after that will be val romy then yeah. out in france so well having i was around when karen thomas uh, and clancy Cavendish, they were riding the track. Yeah. And it did them a lot of good, so yeah. Help you definitely, that's why like I like the track, definitely. I do prefer the road. I think it I think it suits me a little bit better. But I just know the track gives you so much, it almost condenses a three and a half hour long flat race to 20 minutes, especially for the bunch stuff. And you've got to, even though it's all about like the watts and just putting out the watts, it's all about going fast as well. You've got to be able to go fast to win any race. So you get that, you get the tactics, you get the bunch dynamics, it teaches you so much really. One final question then, Adam, uh, because you mentioned the track. Are you looking to be, to follow in the footsteps of teammates from previous years in your junior team at Free Race? Or maybe just hang around and be part of the podium program for GP? I think I definitely want to look forward to try and move on like in teams in the rows and trying to get a good team in under 23s maybe a development team or something like that yeah. that's my big aim to try and push forward with that and then hopefully if i can keep working my way through the gb program that'd be really good just see where it takes me really see what i can do and just
just keep pushing forward, keep training. Just got to keep going. You don't know what the future holds, so just got to keep pushing. A lot of challenges ahead. Definitely a lot of challenges ahead, that's for sure. You never know what's going to happen.